Hi, in this video I will discuss how to implement the integrated best management in the production of horticultural crops. Successful management of pests in an IPM system begins in the field by the right selection of variety combined with other single or multiple control strategies. These strategies include host plant resistant control strategy, biological control strategy, cultural and mechanical control strategy, physical control strategy, behavioral control strategy, strial insect control strategy, traps control strategy, mathematical pest prediction models control strategy, precision agriculture technologies control strategy, and finally chemical control strategy. Now we'll start giving some uh, preview for each strategy on how to implement. The first strategy is the host plant resistance. It's based on two tactics. The first one is the selection of most natural resistant variety. And the second is by using genetic engineering to breed new varieties. And we call it genetically modified organisms or GMOs to incorporate genes whose products cause plants to be unsuitable for insect feeding or insect life cycle. Resistance can be due to the presence of natural defense mechanisms or morphological differences such as cuticle thickness, leaf structure, leaf orientation or even leaf angle. Also leaf susceptibility for insect oviposition etc. Resistance is the only effective method for the control of plant viral diseases. The second control strategy is the biological control. Biological control refers to the intentional introduction of natural enemies, including parasitoids, predators, and pathogens, to reduce best population levels and maintain them at lower average than would occur in absence of natural enemies. The third strategy is the cultural and the mechanical control. Cultural practice become cultural control when adopted for intentional effect on pests. For example, soil preparation such as tillage have a direct impact on weeds and on soil-borne pests. Also, fertilization program may affect leaf structure and morphology, causing repellent effect for insects and resistance against fungus and bacteria. Over-irrigation, over-fertilization with nitrogen, and under-fertilization with calcium produce fruits with high susceptibility to decay. The fourth strategy is the physical control. The main physical forces used in IPM include fire, water, electricity and radiation. For example, flooding in a patio rice cultivation is a major IPM tool against weeds which is used in many parts of the world. Also, careful water management in nursery and field will provide unsuitable conditions for insects to attract to be attracted to plants as well as for diseases to infect plants. The next and the fifth strategy is the behavioral control. Behavioral control uses chemicals to interfere with normal patterns of mainly sexual and feeding behaviors of insects. Sex hormones are used for mating disruption. 
feeding excitants or deterrents are used to either disrupt normal feeding behavior or to attract and kill insects. Strategy number six is sterile insect control. This genetic control method disrupts normal progeny production of the target species by the mass release of sterile insects. The next strategy is number seven. It is the traps control strategy. Different types of traps are used for insect pests such as colored traps, light traps, hormonal traps, or multi traps that uses combination of trapping method. Insect kill in traps is accomplished by using several methods such as physical barriers, sticky materials, water, oil, electricity, or contact insect sites. This strategy is especially successful under greenhouse conditions or when it's applied on a regional scale. Strategy number eight is mathematical best prediction models. Because temperature is a key factor contributing to the development of plants, insects and plant diseases, best infection can be predicted by specific mathematical models which uses daily temperature data collected by weather stations to calculate the degree days. Degree days are used to quantify the amount of heat available to best development and infection. Strategy number nine is the precision agriculture technologies as a control strategy. Technologies used in precision agriculture include remote sensing imagery, proximal sensing sensors, geographical information system or GIS, global positioning system or GBS, aerial imaging, and recently drones. Those technologies can be used successfully as a decision support system for the IPM implementation by applying the right amount of inputs at the right time on the right area. Finally, the chemical control strategy. Chemical pesticides are used to kill or interfere with pest development. Pesticides include insecticides, acaricides, nematicides, fungicides, or herbicides, according to the best type. They should be used selectively when best population threatens to reach the economic injury level. It's important to mention that restrict measures should be taken when selecting, storing, applying pesticides to ensure safety and to reduce undesirable environmental impacts, as well as to successfully solve this problem, as there are practically about 10,000 insect species, 1,500 plant diseases, and 600 weeds, which can cause devastating damage to horticultural crops. That's all for this topic. See you again.